Well, coping with ageing. It isn't easy, that's for sure. Treat every day like it's your last. Who knows what's going to happen in the future, so make the most of the time you've got. I've not long turned 60 and yes, I'm starting to think, well, there's things I want to do that I want to get done before I can't do them. Anyway, I've started walking every day, which has really improved my health, my happiness and my fitness. Um, I try and visit people as much as I can just to get in company of others because um, I live alone and being alone can get a bit monotonous at times and um, it's nice to be around other people. Also, travelling. If you're able to travel, that would be great. I know that when I'm able to, I will be travelling. When I get financial enough to travel, I will be travelling. When I moved late, uh, just previously, I bought a motorhome, as I said in my other video. And yes, I will be travelling and I'm quite looking forward to it. When you get older, you've got to have things to look forward to because it keeps you going. Be grateful for every day that you have. Loss of friends can be very hard though, but always look on the positive side of, well, they had a good life, they were good friends, we had fun times together, and it was just their turn. Because let's face it, everybody's gonna get their, time, their turn sooner or later. Keep the fire lit inside of you. Learn to do different things. I mean, I've never done videos before and I'm still learning. So who's to stop anyone from doing it? They mightn't be very good at first, but hey, it's something to do and I really, really enjoy it. I really do. And when I travel, I intend to do a traveling video as well, daily. So that's something that I've got to look forward to as well. Now, another thing that does upset us, and yes, has upset me in the past, is not seeing your family enough. But at the end of the day, we can either sit round and mope about it, or we can accept life the way it is and just get on with it and be happy. Our children, our sisters, our brothers, our uncles, our aunties, our whoever, They've all got their own lives to live and their own problems and we just have to accept it and just move on. Another thing that can keep you happy and occupied in your older age is having a pet. I have two little dogs and I would just die without them. I really would. All I do is laugh at their little antics. They're so sweet and gentle and kind, I just love them dearly and they, they will be coming on my travels too when I travel. Um, it gives you exercise when you have a pet too because you have to walk them. So anyway, the other thing I do is I volunteer. I volunteer to help the elderly in the retirement homes and sometimes I even go to a personal house who's someone in their 80s that's, you know, not very uh, mobile, they need help. So that's what I do. And I get so much for fulfilment and happiness from doing this. I walk away happy and I walk away proud that I've done this and feel happy for doing it. At the end of the day, good brings good. Bye for now.